The South Congress podcast is a lifestyle show that sometimes crosses over into mature territory. The views expressed are those of the host and guests who come from different backgrounds and experiences. Listener discretion is advised. We live. We got food. Yo, it's, it's perfect, yo. Word. We live on a Friday night. Live on a Friday night, yo. Mm-hmm. It's the South Long Congress podcast. Yep. I'm out here with everybody, well, man. Well, I'm lonely. Um, <laughs> we don't even need intro music if you want. No, we don't. He stopped. Okay. Yo, it's the South Congress Podcast. If you're watching this, you might be on IG Live, might be over there on Facebook, uh, might catch us on YouTube a bit later. Um, yeah, I'm Cameron, I'm your host. I'm here with my man, Isaiah. What up? My man, Miles. Shout out RP. RIP King Bishop, you know how it goes. The young boy, Chris. Relax. And my, my often co-host, Travis. You. Yeah. All right, so... Y'all are at our dinner party, as it were. And, yo, shout out to my man, Darren, over there, producing us tonight. We appreciate mm-hmm. you, baby. Yep. Um, yeah, uh, this is just one of those weekends where the homies from San Antonio decided to slide through. Uh, my man in Del Valley decided he had some time. Normally on a Thursday or Friday or Saturday, me and Travis get together and do our Flash thing. So we had some time tonight. Gentlemen, I appreciate everybody being here. It means a lot to me. Oh, of course, um, no I want to jump off with the biggest story uh, since forever. Mm-hmm. I want to talk some Black Panther, man. Absolutely. Um, what we'll do first, um, since Travis and I kind of have a special attachment <coughs> to Black Panther as far as the suite goes, as far as the movie goes, we'll jump off there. Um, Travis, I'm going to take a bite of my burger, man. Mm-hmm. Um, this is what I want to do first, though. I want to kind of introduce how everything happened. So, um, <coughs> Travis... Yep. Long-time host of Pro Wrestling Torch East Coast Cast. Yeah. Travis eventually invited me on to co-host with him on a regular basis. All right? Um, after we did this for a while, Travis ended up moving to Austin. Uh, Wade Keller, uh, the big man in charge, suggested a few months ago that Travis apply for media credentials, for press credentials, for the Austin Comic Con. Yep. Travis passed that information to me. We both applied. Um, you. Opening night, we go to a party um, at Hops and Heroes at Austin Toy Museum. Um, uh, a block off downtown. Um, we go there. Really cool people. Great owners. Get along with them really well. Um, I talked to him that night about maybe doing our podcast eventually. So, um, eventually, Shannon Brewer, uh, one of the owners, does the uh, South Congress Fan by Fan show with me and Travis. Um, we good get along, show, too. Yeah, and she's great. Uh, we get along really good with Shannon. Shannon's super smart about comics, super knowledgeable about the media in general. Um, she hits online a little bit after that, asking us if we want to participate in their Black Panther event. We're like, sure, why well, wouldn't we do it? It's Black Panther. So, um, they end up having an event uh, co-promoted with Alamo Draft House here in Austin. And Evan Narciss, the current writer of Rise of the Black Panther for Marvel, is a part of their event. Um, Travis Because he's a local guy, so that was an easy connection. he's been in Austin here local, yeah. So uh, Travis and I uh, end up doing the event with him, uh, with, with all of them, and it's just great, man. We do... The whole cosplay thing. They let us introduce him for a few showings. We get to introduce the movie at Alamo Draft House to total strangers for a few showings. That we're seeing the movie, obviously, opening night, Thursday, for the first time. I didn't tell you this show, and Darren will know. So, Darren, Crystal tells me that Brandon, one of our advisors, actually saw me there and told her. So somebody from work saw me do Black Panther thing. It's crazy. Yeah, so, um, but it was great, man. I had a great time. Um, everybody was so cool. Everybody shows us mad love. Um, it was great to be in front of a live audience because that's something we talked about that we want to do more often. Just uh, an amazing time, man. While I take a bite of this food, Travis, yeah, yeah. jump in, talk about the event a little bit. The event was great. It was it was literally like four or five hours of hanging out with some really cool cosplayers. Obviously, Shannon, uh, as we said, who uh, who said is, is super cool and knowledgeable, and you could just talk, start talking comics, superhero movies, 
whatever, and everybody's here for it. And, you know, everybody's drinking and eating and having a good time. And Black Panther, it's day one. It's Thursday night. Nobody's seen it yet as far as the general public. Mm. And and we got to in- literally introduce the movie to, you know, f- five or six audience full of, uh, of people. Mm. And you and your, and your T'Challa and your Black Panther outfit... Cosplay full on spandex mask. Hot <laughs> damn. <laughs> Gloves with the claws and everything. And yeah, Killmonger. And y'all killed it. Cammonger? Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> and y'all killed it with the off the top. A lot of it was improvised with the sketches and stuff. And Evan was great. And we were st- the highlight for me was we were all standing in on line ramp, to right? do like the, the ramp, to yeah. do like the third. The third introduction to the third showing of the night, and we're all standing there waiting for the for the trailers to come on, and you know we go in uh, as the, the, the last trailer. So we have it's twelve minutes with, worth of trailer. So we have t- 10, 12 minutes to stand there and, and talk, and it's the third time. So we're kind of people are loosening up a little bit, mm-hmm. and we realized at that point we weren't going to be able to do our interview with Evan that night. Mm-hmm. And it was just too much going on and, you know, totally understandable. And I said to someone else, like, man, I had a lot of questions, too. And Evan, like, is like an earshot. He's like, well, ask him. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, bam, I start asking about the book, Ni- the, the, the Niyami character, because people think Ramonda, you know, is, is, is T'Challa's biological mom. Mm-hmm. She's not. She's Shuri's mom, but uh, she's uh, T'Challa's uh, stepmom. Uh, his mother, Nayami, Smarty Yam, which is the cutest nickname in the history of... It's oh. great. <laughs> uh, so we started talking about him, to Ch- uh, 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 Changamir, just the different characters of the book. And then we got into other books, like, hey, well, what are you reading now? Uh-huh. And it was just, uh, I can't wait till we get to sit down with him and actually uh, uh, talk to him for, for an extended time. I've never had that feel <clears throat> of reading somebody's work and then literally... Getting to ask them about Days it. later. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Um, and just, you know, they talked about how a film like this and a story like this resonates with his daughter. And then thinking about that and going back to what the writing is and yeah. seeing how they wrote just the characters. It was it was heavy, man. He's, yeah. um, like, to call people impressive is weird to me, but he's really impressive just as a person and he's quick-witted. It's funny. Um... Cause I got there a bit before you, so I'm in costume and I meet him, and I'm like, "Yo, I'm a fan." And he's like, his immediate response is, "I just started writing the comic. What are you a fan of?" <laughs> and I'm wow. like, "Oh!" And he doesn't catch me slipping, but his eye on I'm writing really good. Yeah. So I was like, "No, you're not. I, I do my research. I know who you are." But no, he was great. Um, he was real receptive, and mm-hmm. even when we told him, like, "Yo, we like we want to talk to you," he's like, "I'm local. Like, just hit me up." Like, mm-hmm. it was great. Um, he's. He, he's an amazing guy. Um, I got a question. What kind of prescription did the doctor give you for the yeast infection you got for the tight ass spirits? Damn! <laughs> so let's talk about it. <laughs> you could, okay, you would say that. So let's I mean, talk about it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Is it the idea of spandex to be tight? Oh, listen, listen, shit. Man. You don't my want man, baggy spandex. Chill, chill, wow. Chill, chill. My man's cam was, he, he did the dance on the Snapchat where he was trying to like, Hold back so nobody can see his package. He was moving around so, so nobody can see. Let that shit show, dog. Dude. Be natural. You know, you Let it show. You probably so, got more views, more likes. Go, yeah, right. We go to. Um, <laughs> I go to try on the costume, right? And Shannon's not oh, there. Sure. One of the guys that owns the shop is there. So I try on the costume and I come out, and he's like, "If you want to wear an extra pair of underwear, like that's." Cool. I'm like, no, I, it's, well, for what? And I was like, yeah, but no, yeah, we, we took care of that. Um, <laughs> you know, it's that thing where, like, I like cosplay. I can't lie. Like, I really like cosplay. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous fits and all that kind of stuff. Young man. furry cam. <laughs> wow. Young, but no, I, I do like cosplay. Young like, yiffing I, cam. I, as long as there are Fet-like superhero costumes, and as long as my genetics don't catch up with me, so I'm going to be through that through that costume. No, no, seriously, no. You my, no, you can see that my BMI number right here. This is a two forty six. Right. <laughs> but no, man, it was. I tell you what, the coolest thing was though. Um, as great as it was to be like 
in the company of comic writers, as great as it was to be in front of adults and introducing like a big ass black movie to them, the coolest thing, we're out there in the lobby between one showing and this kid is in the lobby with his mom and he's like, mom, I want to take a picture with him. And I'm like, fuck, like this is great. Like I, this is what you do this for. Yeah. Like, um, like you don't put that outfit on to be like, Ugh. yeah. My man, uh, my man Deuce, who I love to death, is uh, one of my favorite like doormen and bouncers in Austin. And he had a Facebook post like, "How many biracial superheroes are there?" Because I don't count for him because everybody shouldn't be so worried about representation. And I'm like, dude, like I, however you feel as like a thirty plus year old man, I won't question that. But I know how kids of a certain age react to seeing a black superhero. Like, I, that's just what it is. Mm-hmm. You, regardless of how you may feel or somebody else may feel, that idea of representation is real. Like, they latch on to that. So, not knowing me from anybody on the street, if he saw me in regular clothes, that kid don't want to take no picture with me. Right. But he sees a black guy as a superhero and feels like he wants to be a part of that. Like, there's no denying how important that is to a kid. Yeah, that and can that be is, me. Yeah. Exactly, and that was the best moment to me. So, man, I had a great time. Um, is this where we get to talk about how your man Travis was on the balcony? This is after we do all the showings, right? He's shooting his shot at the Mexican chicken cosplay, right? Shoot and or then, shoot. And then shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, shoot or shoot, but how many balls do you have? Oh, oh, because the hey, 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 whole time, hey, yo, yo. the whole time we in there cosplaying with his IG crush, and I didn't even know it, and he didn't know. IG crush. If she did, if I'd have seen her butt, I'd have been like, ah! Black Panther Shawty with the you didn't look at her candy butt? and the I mean uh, bear. Oh, okay, okay. yeah. Now nah, she's bear, bear butt. I, yeah, I got yeah, it. she's yeah. Uh, she's pretty pretty provocative on the gram. I'm a joke. Um, I don't look at women. Oh, but soon I as he, but soon, <laughs> yeah, no. but soon as Cam yeah, said, yeah, Trav or, in the group, Trav girl out here, whatever your line was, before you even posted the link, I was like, I bet that was Keek, Kika, ATX, whatever. I bet that was her. Yeah, and then you were at. And then you posted the Off you fucked that you up. And you posted the damn link, and I was like, I'm not clear. I, I, yes, I see her every day as I scroll through my IG. Like, but she, she was there with her kids. Like, what was I going? Really, I mean, yep. Look, that was your chance. To first of all, yep. be a stepdad. I was on yeah, wrestling yep. with kids the whole time. <laughs> if you needed an opening, it was there. Yeah. But that's me and kids, though. Kids, kids, I'm a big kid. Yeah, they know. Like, you know. The way she looked, Yo, she was so bad. And the whole time, I'm, I'm like, like I was like, oh, who is she? Is. How bad it she's fine. No, because, yeah, yeah, like, the way she she carries herself different. Like, she's got, she don't smile. Yeah. But, like, in a good way. She don't need like, to. She don't, she smirks. She don't need to And it's smile. just like, yeah, you see it. You mm-hmm. see it. I can't ask that question. I don't want to ask. <laughs> ask it. You can certainly ask, ask it. Does she have bad teeth or something? No, 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 no. Her <laughs> teeth are great. She, she, no, she's an attractive girl. She just don't yeah. smile. Like, yeah. But she don't need to smile. That's how good looking she is. I dig. Yeah. She's, but she's she's yeah. great. Mm-hmm. She might be watching this video. And? She's, just, she's like, oh, yeah, hi, guys. <clears throat> Yo, she did a dope-ass so vegan photo go... shoot. You seen that? Yeah, yeah. That was dope. Was that the one? I saw the one with the little with the puppet. Was that the part of it? That's Is that something different? Style. But that was yeah, okay, that was okay. tough. Um, so since I have the homies here, mm-hmm. guys, Miles, Chris, just jump in. Talk Black Panther, man. Yeah. Like I, well, when I said that it was <clears throat> Lion King, y'all said I was tripping. Chill out. So I'm not going to say it until after. <laughs> wow. Everybody gets it. I'm not even going to. Damn. Miles, that was Pride Rock, my, my G. I look this way. Am I lying? That was Pride wow. Rock. They got some scenes. There's I some scenes in there that's, that's like Look, crazy. just because they had the one with the tree <laughs> and the, and the colorful background. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. That, that's what? it. All the niggas born in the 90s are talking crazy right that's now. That's it. Are you, what, what do you mean that's it? That's so it. And Michael B. Jordan. It was in Africa. That's the other Lion King connection. But we looking at a sunset. That's a know, reach. Fam, sunset is a reach. Sunset okay. every night. Every, every single night in the whole wide world, there's a motherfucking sunset, nigga. <laughs> but we're all not over at, Africa. It's a, are we looking at it at a, at a. It's only two rocks in Africa. It's a. It's How like many rocks rock in Africa? Oh man, you're right, so, so wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
and and they said it's the prettiest sunset. It's the prettiest sunset that you will ever see. Why are That's you? What he said. How I know? I'm so upset. And it's the prettiest oh, sunset so you will ever see. That's what he said. And because Forrest Whitaker mm. definitely had the worst African, the Black Penta. Yo, <laughs> let's see, the Black Yo. Penta. How many? He didn't even say Penta. <laughs> How many Penta. Twitter accounts Penta. are are Black Penta right Penta. now? Penta. <laughs> Hey, and that nigga was and he eating wouldn't stop he every other hospital. word. Every other word, he was just like, like you know what? I'm putting an edge on everything. My my African accent is sharp. That nigga said he want a flashback in the next movie. He gonna the put it on. Penta. But I I because over- Af- most African accents are very like bubble da bubba, you know, very like bubbly. Uh, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. You know, what? Wow. Wow. What is a bubble? I don't want to go there. I want to know. I don't want to go Y'all get what I'm saying? He said bubble <laughs> bubba. I don't know what I mean. As far as no, they, no, we do not. Like, I have African friends. Like, reminded me of that Jamie Foxx stand up. That's terrible. This was like shit. You know, had like a sharpness to it. Oh, I offend you with you. No, no, you ain't offend me. Just don't need them coming up to me. <laughs> you have your friend on the YouTube talking about us. <laughs> My man Stash said, "Can we talk Black Superman or Black Spider Man?" Stash, what's up? No, uh, yes. Stash, what well, up? No, yes, we can no. talk. Yes, Ma- Miles Morales is black and Puerto Rican. What else you need? <laughs> this is Black Panther talk right now. We're not talking about Spider Man right so, now. So yeah, Miles, just, just talk about the movie, man. Man, I, look, I'll tell you what. I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. Second behind Cap Two. Um, and and I don't respect all the fucking fake woke. Let me read into this movie several levels deep into the third, fourth basement and shit. It's a fucking superhero movie. Like, let it be a goddamn superhero movie starring black people. That's all you need to know about the movie. You don't need to find any sort of like, oh, well, the juxtaposition of this versus that put together made me think that really Black Panther is a parallelism for... Man, shut all of that shit up. It's a fucking <laughs> enjoyable movie. It's fucking wow. phenomenal. And Shuri is smarter than Tony Stark. Like, that's really... And she's 16. And 16 fucking the years old. The potential in that young woman is Sir. absolutely ridiculous. Astronomical. Hmm? Astronomical. She had... Because I'm, I'm, I'm convinced Tony Stark dies very soon. Right? Uh, there's in uh, uh, the uh, well, Infinity getting, Wars... Getting, well, or and he doesn't want to do it like our uh, uh, listen the, the man doesn't want to do in real life yeah. part. you're getting real meta bro like, let's stay yeah, 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 yeah. you right now so when she gets on I cannot wait to see them on screen when she completely outclasses him I'm not outclasses and that's to denigrate Tony Stark Tony Smart Stark is, is smart well let, let's stuff. denigrate but when please continue with the but when he but when she when he you know he gonna hit her with some Oh, da 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 da, young Joan. And then she, she, and she gonna hit him back with the, well, did you carry the one? And da da And you know, and then he gonna be like, oh, you know what? My bad. You get all my respect yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. Thank you for, for, for showing me that. So I, I'm really anxious. I'm uh, anticipating those two on screen. Yeah, man. It was, I mean, it was thoroughly enjoyable. Uh, a lot that I took from it was just on the surface, right? So um, in the last handful of years, I'm not super well read on Black Panther, as, as you well know. I kind of lost my way as far as uh, comics are concerned, but um, I, I very much enjoyed it. I very much enjoyed it. And furthermore, to piggyback off of what you were saying earlier regarding like the little kids seeing it, I can't wait to show my kids this this black superhero. You know what I mean? I, I'm searching. Not even the hero. <laughs> this it's Importance the entire the world, huh. world Absolutely. surrounding him. His Absolutely. family, Absolutely. his friends, his culture, his country. So I'm, yeah. I'm excited to show my kids that you know I've, I've been not not so much reaching but like looking for different reasons you know what I mean they have all the all the various and sundry colored superhero Barbies and colored character Barbies and just regular Barbies that are colored you know what I mean um, just to kind of give them some sort of uh, identity you know what I mean like so they're not worshiping in, in no shade to the melanin deficient you know what I mean but y'all have plenty of representation so my kids need some fucking A couple representation centuries out already. there yeah yeah yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I definitely want to push that agenda. You know, I do have three little black girls. Yeah. Okay, regardless of what they look like aesthetically, I have three little black girls. So I want them to see that they can be whatever the fuck they want to be. And Black Panther is one of those pretty heavy things that I can show. Like, look, look how smart she is. You know what I mean? She developed all of this. All of this. And, and not once are you li- are you like... Mm, look at them legs, yeah. or mm-hmm. you know, any. She was not sexualized. It, it didn't at even. All. It never even uh, uh, came up. 
With really with any of them. I mean, Lapita or, you know, Nakia and the women that were just like, wow, she's fine, where they're just obviously gorgeous women mm -hmm. on the screen, but you weren't the movie itself. They it didn't, didn't put them in. It they didn't yeah, put yeah, them yeah. in situations. Too busy making society work. Yeah, they weren't. Yeah. They weren't putting them in positions where it's like, oh, look at that shot where yeah, it came under her legs, for, and yeah. you know, with the breast, the cleavage shot, none of that, and and it was probably better for it. So I'll answer this for me. Mm -hmm. Top or number one, top three, top five, top ten. Michael B. Jordan as an MCU villain. Top five? Who's above him? As in recent years? Period. The whole, the whole thing. Oh, wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 wait. I thought you meant like recent years. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Chris is thinking, I'm going to say top three. Okay, now bear with me. Vilified though I may be for saying this, I like Ultron. I like Ultron. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm I admit you. it. I'm with you. I like Ultron. Because you're a well actually ass nigga. You know, <laughs> so Loki, mm -hmm. Ultron, Killmonger. And Vulture's I, not up there. Even though I haven't seen it yet. Can uh, I so I did, I did like Vulture, <laughs> but if if we're being completely honest, if I needed to turn to if a life turn of crime, your volume off, dog. I did. If if I needed to turn to a life of crime <laughs> to give my kids the nice things, yeah. and I found like that there's a little peon, little kid, little knucklehead kid that goes to school with my kids. I'm gonna tell him the same thing with the blicky in his face. If you say anything, I'm just going I'll to shoot you, you Spider Man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ain't Superpowers no that you may have, I will absolutely shoot you in the face if you're stopping my bank. So <clears throat> you hush and you can date my daughter. You know, whatever it needs to be. I did enjoy Vulture, but not more so than Killmonger and the several layers of, of Loki. Because remember, we've seen him in a handful of movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he's definitely a nuanced character. Yeah. And I like Ultron. Truth be told, 75% of the reason why I like Ultron was the James Spader casting. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm very much a fan of the Blacklist, so yeah. I might be a little biased. Yeah, he was James that. Spader. He was robot James Spader. Absolutely. Without looking like him you know, uh, on the outside. It was just like, yeah, no, every time he speaks. And it, it, it was awesome. Um, you, did you get, come up with yours yet? <clears throat> Who's above? I agree, I agree with him, basically. Yeah. I wanted to put the thing else, but he said I can't do it yet. So not yet, not yet. It's, so that's unfair. Like, um, I think top. I think he's number one. Can I get that napkin? I what's my napkin? You got my okay, nigga. You know what I mean? Thank you. <laughs> Over Loki, you know? no Ultron was definitely well, penisless Robert California. <laughs> but if we go keep spot, but if we keep it in the book, I didn't really think Killmonger was like a villain. If we keep it. See, okay, I'm glad <clears throat> he was a murderer. And a psychopath, you, you your voice and a right? lot of other terrible, terrible things. There was See, nothing. A psychopath was he wolf? He was a psych. He, he sought the same thing. They're, they're he not mutually he exclusive. sought that's people out thing. to murder, and then he murdered them. You and then he kept, and then he the kept a tally. The then he kept the tally so, of his murders this, on watch his watch body watch this, watch this, to remind watch him watch and to show off how many people he's murdered. Why scarification? Hey, hey, I'm about to reach. Ready? Reach. What's the difference between him and Chris Kyle? He's not. If I'm, anybody's not going to defend Chris Kyle, yeah. it's Travis Bryant. What's Brian. the difference between him and Chris Where's Kyle? Where's my ginger ale? We celebrate Chris no, Kyle as a I don't. Know, how can we, well, we, I don't either. But yeah. they celebrate the the melanin Kyle. deficient <laughs> celebrate Damn. Chris Kyle. I, personally, I don't think that Killmonger was that much of a villain because of what he's... What, he was what? selfish as fuck! He was burned... He the, yes! He burned the heart-shaped hey, hey, herb hey, hey. just so... He, he, because it wasn't about... It was about him and him yeah, grabbing yeah. all the power. Ain't gonna and be no Black Panther after me, he nigga. He didn't care about the... He didn't care about nothing but absolute power. And he killed... Murdered a bunch of people to get to that point, and then he would beat up a bunch of black women in the okay, process. So and I don't count the Dora Milaje. He, he, he murdered the dude who, who he sold. murdered his girlfriend. Okay, <laughs> which might be his baby mom because there's was, speculation that the probably. kid at the end. I thought so too. Yeah, I thought so. So too. you know, I, I mean, so but too. that's just you know fan inter inter yeah, yeah, interpretation. Yeah, How dare they play really on the same uh, basketball court with the well, with I mean, the real hoop? I mean, he did kind of look like. The dirty Philly Michael B. Jordan. Come on, man. Relax. He did. Compton, bro. Is that, is that what you... Is that what you Let me say this. Um, that was corny line. 
as far as as far as characters go, like because again, I I pray to the altar of cat too. I like, that's my movie. I appreciate um, that. Slap me yeah. some skin. But I think um, <laughs> no, Killmonger is is an amazing character just because he inspires that kind of conversation. Right. People want to identify with him. Which is understandable. Um, he, I mean, because he, he was dropping some bars. In there. He was a no bars. He had bars. He had bars. He had bars. He had bars. I gotta, like, I don't I gotta, know. I Jump in. You got, you got it. So, <laughs> maybe it's just me, and I, I believe Chris agrees. Somebody else could have played that. That yeah. was a lot that's, of writing that drove that, and that's, not that's, necessarily that, Michael B. Jordan, who I think is a great mm-hmm. actor. Excellent. Go watch Fruitvale Station if you can stomach it. A fucking phenomenal movie. But we could we could transpose somebody into that spot. We've talked about it. Um, and Miles, as that, somebody yeah. who, um, and I think, yeah, somebody, yeah, I know my man Josh will, will follow along this. Like we are guys who love the show Entourage, and it's like already told Vinny. Vinny said, "Do you think I'm a great actor?" I he said, "Vinny, I think a, you're a movie star. Yeah, I think you're, I think a, you're star. a movie star." And Michael B. Jordan is that. Yeah. I think that charisma <laughs> carries Michael B. Jordan to a point. But I mean, if you get, I'm, I'm trying to think who's in their twenties, who has that complexion because you gotta be, you gotta pass the paper bag test the other way to play Eric Killmonger. Like yeah. there's that. Eric Killmonger um, in the in the book was was pretty light brown. Yeah, but that's ink and stencil. I, I just mean in like, the seventies too. To be know, yeah, yeah, to be. <laughs> A hundred percent Wakandan. Yeah. You got to have a certain, but no, I, I don't. I, I do think that the writing was stronger than the performance, but I also think that Michael B. Jordan put butts in the seats, mm-hmm. and so you have that trade. One hundred percent. Um, but no, I, I think that for them to like just like I mean, Iron Man One is the thing that jumped all this off, right? I don't think Iron Man One is as good if you don't get Obadiah Stane in some type of Iron Man suit. And so Black Panther versus Black Panther, that dichotomy of having the same power but having different motivations. <laughs> that age-old MCU strong. trope. Yeah, it's something they rely on. Yeah. Um, but I think it was really strong. Um, I, I don't... Because I took, and you guys know this, I took like a week and some change saying I wasn't talking about the movie. I remember. Because everybody was annoying me by coming up with all these <laughs> weird theories and ways to justify them being garbage. I went off on um, two people for calling Killmonger Malcolm X. No, you you did too much. Um, for calling him Malcolm X? Like Malcolm X. But no, but it's you're right. People. You're right. I've heard that Malcolm um, X. Because no, Malcolm X wasn't. Ma- like if any, if you read a book... Or do any type of watch research. Watch the movie. I ain't Malcolm not going that far. Yeah, you can watch the end of the movie. Malcolm X, at the end of Malcolm X's life, was not Eric Killmonger. And you just know that. But, um, yeah, a really strong movie. I think the that the end of the movie was one of the most appropriate things <clears throat> I've ever seen. From them, you know, landing the big hovercraft. You would mess this up. From landing the big hovercraft, it... Damn it, how many times you open that same soda, dog? <laughs> no, that's the I mean, big he he <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but no, um, you know, them coming to the park in Oakland, the kids being fascinated, the one kid standing off to the side asking T'Challa who he is. Who are you? Um, you know, them having that like Wakanda outreach, like sharing. And the first place they go to share being with the very people that his brother said they weren't taken care of. Mm-hmm. Like, Cougar just knew what he was doing, yeah. man. It's just strong. Um, I do like that they had the women in there very strong. Yo. The women kind of carried a lot of Absolutely. Of the hey, hey, that is, the hey. Shame the, the devil and tell the hey, truth. Okay, they, they carried they the carried motherfucking the movie, movie, really carried the movie because like, the man that played Black Panther was the weakest link. Goodbye. And he was getting his ass beat every which, which time. Was the, which was first of all. Every, first yeah, of all. yeah, yeah. It wasn't necessary because he's a first king. It's like, it's like how everybody criticized Ray Kwan on Cuban Links for having, friend. or was it Iron Man? It was it was Ghostface on Iron Man for having everybody having so many features. And he, oh, you're getting outshine. You got Ray Kwan, you got Cabadonna. I'll, I'll shine. It's like, fam, that's a fantastic album. Yeah. It's near perfect. Oh, why no, are cool. you I'm cool why are you getting outshine by women? Like, he, he, smoked, he smoked Bucky and Cap too. Yeah, he, he, he smoked. Smoked him. But hey, he beat this out, 
But it's his beat own origin story, man. He beat Man Ape. He smoked Man Ape. And Man Ape was 6'5". Made him tap two. out. He, he was beating his ass. Made him tap out. Hey, you tapped out. All right. Yeah. Hey, hey, real, real shit. Man, we keeping it a we, we had the We had a little bit of the fucking Game of Thrones syndrome there. And it got cocky. Because he damn sure could have tossed Black Panther off the yeah. shit and said, and I ain't Black Panther now. As much shit as I give you, and I know this is going, as much shit as I give Batman for getting his ass whooped by Bane all throughout that day. Bane was on Roy. Bane was beating the but shit. But Bane yeah, said him up. Bane said him up over eight months, dog. It's not fair. Powerful weapons to the uninitiated. <laughs> but we are initiated. Listen, man. Aren't we, Bruce? Yeah, we, we, we got, talking about the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was talking comics. No, no, I was like, like Bane said that nigga on Black Street. But you're right. But he was with that. So I got to... We, we gotta keep it a buck though. He was getting his ass beat. Ah oh, yes! I was wondering what would break first. Your spirit or your body. <laughs> I think just said it just like that. Dog, he Man broke the bat nigga. Hey, when I saw that shit, I wanted to text him like, yeah, you bitch ass nigga. Fuck this fucking no superpower having ass superhero nigga. Hey, fuck this detective ass nigga, this moon knight that doesn't kill. Nigga, fuck this nigga, Who's dog. Who's Donald Trump with a, with a superhero suit? Hey, Donald wow. Trump with too much time and a little bit of cocaine, Donald Trump nigga. with cardio like a motherfucker. <laughs> Shit, a white man that don't mind his own fucking business. Stay the fuck out of Crime Alley, you fuck nigga. Stay the fuck out of the Narrows, you fuck nigga. What is happening? <laughs> Niggas turn a Black Panther just into Slytherin okay, Batman. Yeah, no, wait, 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 wait. Let me tell you real quick, though. Like Travis said, we on, we on the damn ramp, kicking it with Evan, comic book writer. And I had to be like... <laughs> you know this nigga Travis got my Dark Knight and didn't read it's it, right? my Dark Knight. And Evan was like, you don't like Dark Knight? Or Dark Knight Return? Dark Knight Return. Travis, like, Travis was like, no. He was like, oh, okay. Damn. He's not doing our show now. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Wild disrespectful. <laughs> hey, give me a book that won't make me fall asleep. I got something to put your ass to sleep. Okay. Oh, hey, yo. Man. Hey. Pause. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. 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 Oh, hey. 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 put a strong edit on this. Wow. Okay. But um, shout out to Cyborg for Stash. There you go, Stash. Are you happy hey. now? South Congress and the Pro Wrestling Torch East Coast cast have two online stores to buy shirts, hoodies, stickers, mugs, notebooks, and more. Visit redbubble.com and tpublic.com and search Seahawk to see all of the merchandise. We run specials every few weeks, so join the South Congress and East Coast cast Facebook fan pages for all the details on our online specials and promotions. I have that right now. Top five without digging into anything. Top five MCU movie. Probably top three. Um, I'm going to say... Matter of fact, I'm going to say Cap 2 and Black Panther. 1A, um, 1B? Yeah. Um, because I, I have to take into account things just being important to me. Mm-hmm. Um, so... Did you like Civil War? I, I, this I, is, I hear a lot of people talk about people, people. It was don't, very cool. My okay, initial okay, thing okay. about Civil War was... <clears throat> Cap 2 is so good, nothing will be that, mm-hmm. but this is a good follow-up. That was my reaction. I kind of <laughs> stuck with that. It's good. It's probably, like, off the top of my head, because I, I got to say it, and I don't know if I've ever said it live, I think Iron Man 1 was fine, but wasn't special, only because I'm one of those three people who read Iron Man, so I heard that story like 12 times. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, okay. This the is, niggas comics suck. This is fine. I don't care. Comics are yeah. cock. Co- I need a better costume. I've yeah. seen 48 of them. Yeah. Uh, but it would be, um, yeah, Cap 2, probably Black Panther, Guardians 1, and... Relax, Chris. I don't I don't know. So what is the end. appeal of Guardians of the Galaxy? Because I, I honestly I like don't... like space shit. I honestly... Mm-hmm. I like it's Rain. Fun. Matter of fact, it's fun. I, there, I like, there's yeah. no MCU movie that's as fun. Yeah. I've literally I like tried, tried, I've tried, I've tried and that's why movie. Thor three is so good. Yeah, yeah. because yeah, it's Thor just is, fun. It's I've just, literally tried to watch Guardians of the Galaxy about five times. Yeah. And I fall asleep every time I watch it, and it's well, like the thing about it is yep. you have to enjoy a whimsical white protagonist, and if that's not your thing, no. yeah, we're well, like a handful of soul. Mustache, I don't, I don't hate white people. Stash, he immediately responded. I know. I know. I don't know. <laughs> Shut up, Josh. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's <laughs> top five, probably top three for me. Yeah. Travis, do you have? It's it's my favorite. It's your it's, favorite. Yeah. Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. No, 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 no. Black, Black Panther. Black Panther. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I respect that. I, my my two is probably Cap Two, and then 
Uh, Ant Man probably rounds it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah Ant Man's Ant-Man. my top Ant-Man. question for you. Yeah. Do you think that there could have been anything that they could have done that made the movie even better for Black Panther? Yeah. Um. Because there's always room for improvement. Yeah, right? like when they did like <clears throat> more, uh, and this is probably because I've read read read, uh, read Rise of Black Panther, which talks about the before, and they give you that nice five minute That's animated great. thing to open the movie, uh-huh. but you don't get a lot of exposition. You, you don't get a lot of Wakanda in the past, right. like how they get to this point. Yeah. When did the technology get to the point where it was so good you can create this hologram, this bubble over yeah. your entire country, mm-hmm. so you don't, you know, you look yeah. like a different thing from the outside world? When did, literally, when did that happen? And did they wait till then to build skyscrapers and stuff? Because you can't build that if people can, you know, fly planes over in the in the forties and see like what's, what's going on down there. So, so that, but again, they, they can't really get into that. I got really. one question before two you hours go. and twenty minutes, and this is kind of a continuity thing. And somebody smarter than me can probably tell me the answer to this. But how does in Civil War? Wakanda get the platform to talk at the peace summit. Then in Black Panther, they're a nation of no. You're talking about plot holes a right third now. Third world country. And we're not getting into plot holes, Cam. Fuck it. We're not getting into plot holes, we'll bro. Dodge it. <clears throat> so T'Chaka in Civil War, Josh says you're being too de- demonstrative. I, well, I'm Travis Bryant. Nice to meet you. Like what? It's kind of important. Um, yeah, I, I think. I don't. I, I think you're looking at it. Uh, the wording. I, I would have to go back and watch Civil War, see how they treated T'Chaka when they introduced him and stuff. He but it does man. seem like he had some real what? stature that they're not just giving they, like they did, well, the king of give him a platform. Like, but here's the thing, like, like, here's the thing though: is when well, when you think about it, the what's the dude, CIA agent name? Ross. Ross. When the new Coulson. Bilbo Ross. But when he was talking, but when he was talking. The way he was talking, it made it seem like at one point Wakanda was like they were more before more, and they yeah. fell off. So it might have been that might have take, taken place. Like you know what, we still gonna bring. But even then, you know, like whenever we have like world summits and stuff, we still bring in countries. Like, we still bring. But do you give them? Do you give Uganda like this platform and like here's the king of Uganda? No, let's all but, listen to him. But and them niggas don't even get the same number of votes and shit. Yeah, man. but. But so they, they, they got it. It'd be two of them. They got to share a headphone, like, a translator like headphone. The way, the way, because now I'm thinking about it, the way that they were talking, it seems like before when they had the vibrating, everything was good. But then after they believed that it was stolen, every after they after mm-hmm. white people thought that everything was stolen from there, it became a third world. Because they know vibranium's a thing. So yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, might yeah, be right. Yeah. Like they did. That's, so that's why. So maybe like when he was speaking at that time. They were saying Wakanda is like boom. It's, they had a but Black like, Panther yeah, was like yeah, yeah. just a few months after Civil War, though. No, it was like a week after a week, Civil yeah, War. Yeah. yeah, he was still literally mourning, mourning. But yeah, so but wasn't his dad? Wasn't his dad still wearing? His dad was wearing the suit too, right? Yeah. So I mean, it's still possible for it to be that. Type it might have just been they turned to talk. Yeah, it just might have been. They could have been fresh off of Civil War. Like there's there's yeah. things. Um, guys, we have talked a lot about the movie. Any other? details, tidbits, fun facts you want to talk about before we talk about some more general stuff that people are going to find offensive? Yeah, I'm excited mm. for Winter Soldier to have a fucking arm with Wakandan tech. White Wolf! <clears throat> in in yo, motherfu- hey. I told you that in the movies. I was Look. like, yo, that vibranium arm going to be crazy. Oh, dog, you say it's going to be crazy. Thanos is going to beat the piss out of anybody that's... Hey, hey punks jump wait, up wait, to get beat there. Thanos' listen, is the helicopter? Listen, man. <laughs> that 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 comic that oh, comic hey, that comic con trailer. What's that about? Listen, hey man, <laughs> Thanos is one of my top. Did you see what shit he put in the group chat? It was Thanos in the helicopter that said it Thanos, said Thanos, on, Thanos it. on the side. I'm so upset. Wasn't he like plotting on like why? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> he was oh, like, like from the seventh. Yeah, 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 this is gonna be an Listen, end. Like, what you gonna do? Did you see the comic con trailer? Rise me. Did you see that comic con trailer? I don't think so. The comic con trailer showed him throwing a planet. Like, I I don't think people understand. Like. A nigga's throwing a planet like a baseball. Mm-hmm. So, like, he's CC Sabathia. <laughs> <laughs> he went the waistline. He went CC Sabathia <laughs> with, a, with, the, with a planet, <laughs> dog. Like, Y'all gonna be so mad. Bro, he was like... stepping on, he was crushing his face. He was on Thor's face. And then you have Spider Man, I'm sorry, Tony. I'm sorry, dying. 
just dying. Yeah, Thanos really gonna it's come over, in here and done, take man. a shit on everybody that, chest, nigga. Cincinnati bow ties for everybody. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga thought Michael B. Jordan killed Wakanda when he burned up the place. And he, hey, Wakanda's a rap. Hey, Thanos <laughs> gonna rip, he rip Wakanda song. apart he looking for that, that soul gym, nigga. three seconds, dog. Rip that fucking and place apart. Can you imagine that? Like, like, he's gonna pick up all the, vib- the whole vibranium mountain just lift it up. Yeah, like, <laughs> like how, much, how much we got him under this motherfucker right so now? So evil, dog. And it's beautiful. I'm, I'm excited that it's gonna be in two parts. If you don't believe in helicopter, it's trash. So. Dog, I'm sick. <laughs> look, I'm sick and fucking tired of you, nigga, <laughs> disrespecting Thanos like this. You understand me? Wait, you, so what I was imagine, gonna say? Wait, wait. Could you imagine he's plotting world domination and then and he a, gotta go gas up? An all powerful. <laughs> he gotta go, eat some diesel. He gotta go gas up. Nigga. Like, wait a minute. We got where's the shell? Think that's the only card he got on him? I'm, I'm excited that they're putting it in two parts. Look, I need them to get to get Thanos in there quickly because I need people to understand that he's not to be trifled with. You understand me? Because if he's just like a shadowy figure in the first one and niggas don't really know what's going on, then people are going to be like, oh my God, who, yeah. like, who's Thanos? Like, I don't, I don't have that powerful. a ton of uh, reference with Thanos besides the stuff I've read in the last two years. He's been in, uh, in the Ultimates and then he was a big uh, plot point in Civil War uh, the Civil War II storyline. Uh, he was one of the first major gets. They they trapped him and boom, they you know, with the with basically their future. What was it in Minority Report? Pre crime mm-hmm. stuff that they had going on with Ulysses. Um, but I know I know he talked <clears throat> molecule not molecule man antimatter man into going nuclear. Like he's not just what I got from him besides being like a dope cosmic kind of being he's into this. He's psycho like he Absolutely. worked on antimatter man like Absolutely. you know the ultimate you're just going he's miles you know. Super dog if you don't fucking relax <laughs> he's nigga he's miles with superpowers <laughs> miles like too much rip crush dog. <laughs> so yeah so I'm I'm, 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 here, man. Fuck I'm, I'm man. hype about Thanos because just because he's such an unknown <laughs> yeah. to me personally I only Which, I mean, but even know watching like stories. the Guardian movies you see like he don't move until it's time to move he controls things from behind the scenes mm-hmm. like yeah uh, it's gonna be cool um okay so we're at about the 40 minute mark we're making good time Mm -hmm. I can't ask you this so you'll have to sit this one out and understand it's out of respect so I'll start with Travis okay Travis who is one teacher that you trust with an automatic rifle (laughs) that's a pass Chris one teacher you trust with an automatic rifle But that sounds a little different than what they're not saying. Teachers should get AR. They have like a nine million. Or because that's how you defend an AR. No, so totally. Then that's what exactly what Miles said earlier. Let him be keeping it above. Nah, 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 nah. I see a name right there on the wall. I don't trust that teacher with an automatic rifle. <laughs> Like I, I left the dishes undone for two days. She would already gun me and Chris down many Imagine. moons ago. Imagine, <laughs> did you enjoy your kneecaps? <laughs> many many moons ago. Yeah. Chris ain't got my money. Yeah. Listen, man. I, ain't no baby. No. I, I pay it's, that. I pay this person. I pay that person for the boat party. For the boat yeah. party. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got my money. No. And we always and yeah. the kicker to it is that we always text talking trash to each other mm-hmm. around those time periods. So it usually starts about what. About May, June, and I start going back and forth, and then it's like at least once a week, and then finally I give her give her the money about two weeks before the boat party, and I give her a little extra. You like playing with your Thank life, you. Really? But Travis, do me a favor. Yeah. A- Turn around and smile at the camera. Autumn says she doesn't like seeing the back of your head. Portuguese cupcake. Yeah. It's <laughs> Um. So no, yeah, I don't have. A lot to mm-hmm. say about that whole thing. Nope. Um, there are some really courageous kids out there, and I respect mm-hmm. them kids for standing up. And if you have the nerve to even entertain the conversation or present the conversation that kids who are involved in a school shooting or a bunch of actors, mm-hmm. I want all the smoke with you. And see, here's the issue with that is that the fact of the matter is, is can you just imagine the stress load of a, of a teacher? I mean, let's start with yeah. let's start with teacher that's like let's even start let's let's start let's go let's go let's start low. Mm-hmm. Let's start with an elementary school teacher. Teacher comes in having a bad day and you know kids from kindergarten through Woo! 
Or or Ray 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 Wrangle, nigga, and, you're more a babysitter than yeah, you are a teacher. And they're not Fuck that shit. They are That's not how I never listening. do elementary. And picture, picture, Fuck just, no. just picture how angry that, that teacher you people. get. Like you tell them to sit down, they're not sitting down. You tell mm-hmm. them to stop talking. It's, it's time to go outside. Okay, picture how angry those teachers get. Like to the point where, and I didn't even realize it now that some of your teachers that they will put they will put a movie on just so they can walk outside so they can get like now I think about it, so they can catch so they can catch back up with themselves yeah. and calm down. Mm-hmm. Given given a, a teacher the the right to carry guns is not no. A, I mean no. I mean you have your right mm-hmm. to carry guns, but giving your teacher guns to have in, in the class classroom. is wrong because number and and here's another bad part: teachers lock their doors now too. So I mean like. Granted, you you gonna try to get outside. I mean, somebody gonna try to come inside. I mean, you can still get outside, but the likelihood of you actually getting out if a teacher spazzes out is really. I'm to I'm less worried about that than I am something happening by accident or some dickhead kid trying to get that teacher's gun. More mm-hmm. than I am a, a, a teacher going off having a bad day. The, the, the idea of you gonna have you know you're gonna have these uh, like. These school districts are already like black kid do them do something and it, uh, expelled. You you show a little bit of aggression. It's like then I'm worried about not spazzing out, but being afraid for their lives mm-hmm. because you know the, you know the Hulk Hogan demon or you know and his had demons give, in his eyes or whatever. Yeah, I'll give you a prime example. Yeah. I had I was a student Gary council. Wilson said. I was a student council when I was in high school, and we went to Chick Fil A that was right by our school. And it was like when we were working, like after school, doing some stuff, and the teacher got mad at me only, right? Like she was very pissed to the point where she like pushed me out of the classroom, like forcibly pushed me, and oh, like shit. I had a lemonade. Now y'all know Chick Fil A lemonade is something different. Like, that's that's it's not, certainly it's, overrated, but uh, keep, continue. Relax. <laughs> continue. Relax, chill out. God, like, so, I agree with you. So, but okay, but at the time when you were in high school, a two two ninety nine large yeah. Chick Fil A lemonade is yeah. a lot of money. It's the world to you. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Especially yeah, I agree. after yeah, I agree. especially yeah, I agree. after yeah, I agree. school. Mm-hmm. So I'm sitting there and she's pushing me out and she takes her thumb and she puts her thumb at the bottom of the cup and busts the bottom of the cup. And oh shit! And lemonade spills on me, but I end up throwing the cup down the hallway. So what she did was she pushed. She's pissed. So what she did was she put it on camp, put me in the camera view. So all they saw was me throwing the lemonade. So it looked like I was throwing it at her. But think about. But now that I think about it, if that teacher had a gun, mm-hmm. and she was mad, yeah, I'd have been a hashtag. Yeah, I'd have been a hashtag. No, don't. Okay. She you ended don't. up getting fired, but you don't want to get fired. <laughs> she ended up getting I fired. I do, but I don't. Yeah, you're good. So okay. I want y'all to understand. Faye can't play Halo. She doesn't understand the relationship. Well, but between then the argument to that was that she would be she wouldn't get one no. and wouldn't ask her to go to the training. The she doesn't have yeah. an adept. Uh, 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 she's not adept naturally to it. They so there's someone it, maybe it, to teach her the next to her. Here's the thing, they though. say would, that thirty that police officers. When they are asked to shoot at a target, hit the target thirty percent of the time. Mm-hmm. But and here's another thing that I that I want a to teacher say. who's doing a different job right. all day and would only use that firearm in, in even way. more extreme yeah. circumstances with way more people around yeah. will be worse. And, and, and here's all what, kinds and of I don't, yeah. feelings and, and, and heartbeats and, yeah. and stress factors in your body. One comment. As a teacher, be careful. Okay? I'm a teacher. Don't fuck your money up. No, no, I won't. <laughs> Just because you have a gun does not make you John Wayne. Yeah. I will say that. Yeah, I will say that and leave it at that. And here's another thing, though, is that I that's all I'll say. Forgetting. I don't. Trump ain't trying to arm. He's full of shit. Trump ain't trying to arm Miles Burton with a <laughs> with a gun as a no, 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 he's not. He ain't trying to perform. He ain't trying to arm somebody who is not white. <laughs> if you want, he's trying, if he's you trying to argue. He's trying to argue. You're John Smith. And we don't John keep it a buck. Yeah, yeah, I we get don't it. keep it a buck. I get Mary, it. Mary right. Alice, Mary Alice Sue is gonna have a gun. I get before, it. Sue. Before Mary Alice, Mary Sue. Alice Sue's gonna have a gun Shit. before he lets <clears throat> Laquita Johnson, that teaches over in Chicago on the South Side in the hood, where you can get shot for playing on the playground mm-hmm. by accident. West side. No, in I all seriousness, bus down. if you want gun control, mm-hmm. buy your best. Black friend a gun. 
and you'll have your green. No, no, no. Hey, shout, shout out to Reagan and the Black Panthers. Yeah. Because remember, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. remember, that's where the original, original gun control came from. Yeah. Because these niggas were patrolling the streets. They were showing like, up to courthouses yeah. yep. with armed, rifles and shotguns. Armed to the yep. teeth because it's legal. You're not going to treat this black man bad. We're here to make sure... So don't get fucking rowdy. I'm, and I'm uncomfortable with them even allowing guns on our campus. Yeah, I agree. Like, they I allow agree. like they say yeah. they say okay, you can carry guns on campus. And my boss, my boss has a gun. And whenever he sits down, you can see it poking out. <laughs> there was one time he came to Pause. school. All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can see it poking <laughs> out, Chris. Ew, <laughs> Pause, gross, so. sir. There was one Shit. time. But here's here's the wild part, cause you get some, and he's and he he you went through the Napoleon Central, cause he's short. He, he's literally I'm tall for his stash. He's, he's about he's about like five five, cause he's a he's a little Cambodian dude. But he has this. He didn't he, have no breast pump. He had. Uh, and he had God damn. He had. Breast he went through the Napoleon man. phase where he came in. And he had three guns on him. Three, three guns. One on the left side, one on the right side, and one in the bike. This nigga is. He had one Fucking in the pocket. Rambo? No, no reach Fuck. pulling a gun like this. Listen, listen. Can you get my third gun, please? Listen, listen. There's no reason for nah, you to... you see Ricochet. There's, there's no reason for you to have Duct tape to as small of his When bed. you're going to college, there's no reason for you to have a gun in class. You need to take your ass to your 8 a.m., go get you some Chick-fil-A on campus. This is a student a, that you're talking about? Uh, he's a... He's a... He's a... He's a uh, the Cambodian dude? Nah, he's not He's not a student no more. He's a. He's one of my bosses. Oh, but you damn. have students... But he works on campus. Yeah. He works on right, campus. Right, right, okay. But you have students that have guns on campus because they say you can't. But in, the, only, we're in the only place that you say that they say you can't have it are in labs. So in like science labs. But everywhere else... Oh, you want to fuck up that sulfur. Yeah, you know, go ahead. Let's carry it in the library, you know. Let's just... You, that you, shit you, crazy. Like silencer. Silencer. Yeah. Silencer. Yeah. You gotta sh- and it's already quiet in there. You don't hear shit. You dead. No, that's not... No. Texas has... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to get into that. You guys, we had a perfect show of a perfect month. And this isn't going to happen again. And I'm not going to wear out my welcome. Um... <laughs> I want to thank everybody for being here. Number one, my name is Cameron. If you've been listening to this, there are a bunch of different ways that you can find us. Um, Me personally, you can find me on Instagram and on Twitter under the name Seahawk. That's C-E-E-H-A-W-K. You can find the podcast on Twitter at South Congress with a K. You can find the podcast on Instagram at South Congress Podcast with a K. Um, a million different ways to look for us. If you go to YouTube and search South Congress TV, you'll see our brand new page with brand new videos. At the time you're listening to this, probably the most recent video is my third attempt at trying to figure out Premiere Pro. Uh, me doing a mashup of the original Batman Begins trailer, or as some people like to call it, the Katie Holmes one um, mixed in with Batman the Animated Series. So we're always doing a new video, new audio, new designs, a million different ways you can find us. Travis, um, anything you want to plug before we get out of here? Yeah, you can uh, find me on Twitter and on uh, on the gram at Trav Lord. You can find Cam's and I's uh, pro wrestling uh, talk show uh, at uh, eastcoastcast.com. You can find the pay, the show on Twitter also at East Coast Cast. Uh, so yeah, go to eastcoastcast.com. You got six, seven years of wrestling show archives, and uh, yeah, check us out. Young Chris, anything you want to plug before we get out of here? Nah, he's good. I don't have anything to plug unless <laughs> we're going to talk about. <clears throat> Never mind. Yeah, no. <laughs> Miles B, anything you want to get off your chest? Um, nothing in particular, um, as always, um, you might have heard me like three or four podcasts ago. If you want smoke, you know where to find me. <laughs> I know, if, it's um, <laughs> if, if it's smoke, you can find me at Africantastic, A-F-R-I-K-A-N-T-A-S-T-I-C. Um, that's, that's really all I got, you know, at me. I'm with the discussions. I'm also with the smoke. I'm in Austin right now. I'll be in San Antonio I can be found. I'm not hiding. I'm, right I'm, I'm, I'm out here. You know <laughs> I go, hey. we're, we're going to skip one gentleman so as not to mess up his money. Our producer this evening, Darren, anything you want to say to the people come before you get camera, out of here? Come on, camera, man. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. Come here. Come here. No, come on. 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 Come on.
<laughs> appreciate y'all for having me for this event. Appreciate you, y'all man. Y'all did well. Yeah. Y'all yeah, covered it well. And, and guys, yeah, when you see our um, our Hops and Heroes show, exactly. that's going to be that's mostly uh, okay. Darren's okay. work on mm-hmm. there. Um, I don't know, Darren. We talked about it a year ago. Do you have any shows set up for South by just yet? Are we um, figuring out something different this year? Uh, probably figure out something different, but (laughs) not just yet. But I might have a pop up show. I'm still seeing, but we'll we'll get you on again before that then to make that work. We won't Uh, be here until Thursday, so try to make it Thursday afternoon mm-hmm. slash evening or later we'll be leaving yeah, we'll probably sunday through. late afternoon uh-huh. something like that so guys again thank you so much uh it's been the south converse podcast for my entire cast i am cameron and we're out northwest till i rest understand me deuce down san antonio yeah. shout out to little mike shout out to little mike shout out to little <laughs> Want to support the show? Want a specific topic, comic, show, or movie discuss? Supporting the South Congress podcast on Patreon allows you to dictate the conversation. Visit patreon.com slash Seahawk for details on how you can support and guide the show.